हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बैक माय सिलो वॉल्यूम कैलकुलेशन प्रोग्राम में सीमेंस लोगो किया से एट लास्ट वीडियो वी ट्राई टू गेट एनालॉग डाटा फ्रॉम लोगो किया से टू द एक्सेल फाइल विथ वेरिएबल वर्ड्स and uh, analog inputs also possible and uh, with this analog data we try to get uh, real tonnage values of the silics and we also get some visualization results from analog inputs and bar graphs of logo web editor and uh, and some visual outputs in microsoft excel this is total tonnage value of the six silo and the this is uh, silo tonnage one by one In this video, we try to get real tonnage values in logo web editor. And second, we uh, make weekly, daily reporting of the values to the recipients. And we try to make two kind of data welding system one of is uh, in microsoft exam the second is in logo data logging program the most important of uh, part of the video is that here in Excel file, we could easily control the silo you know, dimensions here. This is highness, this is the diameter, this is density. All of can be controlled here. I write one and the tonnage is changed. Anyway. We could, uh, in this video, enter these dimensions in logo web editor. We log in the, these values in here and we see real tonnage values in the logo web editor. Let's start how we can do it. This is flow, gram, flow diagram of our data. These dimensions are written in logo web editor. They all send to the logo PLC as a variable word. And with analog inputs taken from logo and dimensions values from logo web editor, they are all sent Siemens comfort panel and where is okay. it is here the calculation of tonnage values made in Excel cannot be done in logo PLC or logo web editor so, I try to use comfort panel and make these calculations or in this part. And then this calculation results sent to the logo and, and from here we send them to the logo web editor. 
in here how we can do it there is a small script file that activated by the any analog value this script is same of these calculations that down here it's mean some complicated but it's only just processing glancing and for calculation here this is for silo one this is silo two this is silo three for all silos are calculated here and then they are attached to the PMI tag Siloton logo this sent to the Siemens logo PLC and then our Siemens logo PLC sent him sent it to the here and you see we have two kind of silo these three are same dimensions these three are same dimensions so there is a two kind of dimensions in here and this is for 0 1 2 3 this is 0 4 5 6 and this value is for 0 1 and this value is 0 4 and you see the density is 55 and the real tonnage is 17 18 the analog input is same i try to change values and see what happened in here for example i will write 110 you see the tonnage values change and the density is 110 and diameter is 400 like if i make this 600 the diameter must change and the tonnage also change every values are can be seen here and real tonnage can be read here and it that it is in silo one we control the silo for also if i put in 18 and the density for 18 and the tonnage value is 77 you could organize these values according to the your silo and the main page these are analog input values of the, our six zeros and the real tonnage values are six zeros these also these values also can be seen here 18 ton 10 ton 12 ton 53 30 and 4 ton The second property is email function. There is a two kind of email sending. This is manual email. If I click here, and this is second. This is automatic email. There is a. It is possible to send in every day and three times in a day. This can be done by. weekly timer we could control all days and times from here and this is uh, monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday sunday saturday sunday i could activate or deactivate all days from here 
So I could send my email function any day and any time in this file. This is uh, one weekly timer has three time option. If you add here second timer, you could second six time option for email sending system. And the time uh, is controlled here. This is 11.56, this is 11.56. If you want to change timer, just write the number here. For example, this is 12. I put one minute delay for this timer. This is uh, for email function, it is necessary because this timer is activate the marker for and this is manual function is uh, for emailing it is also activate marker for in excel file marker for is observed by a macro program and when it realizes the this value change to the change from to, to one and it's activate automatic email for activating email system i must firstly start this macro and you see and the email comes automatically. Uh, these are financial values of silos. You could uh, organize these values if you know some macro in Microsoft Excel. This mail is sent manually. If you want to make, uh, for example, uh, I mean automatic email. I just must uh, adjust the time. You see, time is 11.51. I write 11.52, 11.53. And observe what happened here. Yes, you see the marker for is activated. And marker for is activated when it realized by the Microsoft Excel the automatic email directly to come our screen as you see this macro is also data logging, starting the data loading of the uh, Microsoft exam. With this time interval, these values are written to here. And, and this time interval is also controlled from here. And this is one minute. This is, you see, one minute. If I write here two minutes, and the time is um, time interval is change to the two minutes. If you write 16 minutes, it's changed to the one hour. You must just what your time in the minute. 183 half. And the second data logging system here, it's made it by logo. This is our logo logging function. This timer and uh, enabling the logon system can be activated from here. When I activate, firstly make data logging. And 
it makes data logging with this, with this interval. If I reduce this interval to 40 seconds, when this value reaches 30, you see data log is activated. You could control this value just in seconds. For example, if I write 2040, and it means you see here 40 minutes. If I write 3000, this means 50 minutes. This is one hour. And uh, with this, uh, our center, our silo measuring sensors, starts the measuring. And when uh, I interrupt the measuring and just click, the outputs are these outputs are activated, and the measuring uh, is interrupted. This is all explanations for my video. Uh, I make the explanation explanations very shortly, uh, I think, but it must be like this. Uh, if I try to explain everything, it takes a very long time. Uh, instead of that, uh, you could write uh, your questions. Uh, uh, what is uh, inside and deeper uh, secrets uh, of uh, this program? And uh, thank you for watching uh, my video. And uh, and if you like uh, this video. Please don't uh, click, uh, don't forget to click uh, like button. Goodbye.